It's Dave here from Site3D and I'm going to quickly show you drainable areas in Site3D. So we have some roads and some drainage system in our project already. We also have some areas that water would fall onto, be it a uh, roof of a house or the driveway or open areas. And we want to assign where that wood water would enter the drainage system. And we do that with drainable areas. Go to our drainable area tool and we can then use the new drainable area and either with snaps or just freehand we can just draw out an enclosed shape of uh, whatever complexity we want to. Right click and hit finish and just assign it to the pipe that it would flow into. And then we have the pipe that it's assigned to with the area of the shape that we drew. Another way to input these is to right click and do select line where I can pick an enclosed line and assign it to a pipe as well. It does the same thing and we can pick multiple. I can also right click and do select building where I can pick a building and assign it to the pipe that it would flow into. So I can pick multiple buildings here and assign them sequentially without having to go back into the tool. I can just keep going and rapidly put these on in my drawing. I can also right click and do select path and drive and similarly just pick a path or a driveway and assign it to the pipe that it would drain into. We also have the properties here. So if you go into the drainable area properties and select one of the areas, you can see you've got the percentage impermeable, so you can change that, and also the runoff coefficients and urban creep percentage. Thanks for watching.